just when I thought I was done with stinger transitions, enter Cypher PK. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. We are back to the normal videos. I have got another template for you guys inside of After Effects, and it is yet another stinger transition. I've done so many of them, but they are so fun to recreate, and streamers just keep coming out with new stuff. They keep getting channel rebrands and whatnot, but just recently, Cypher PK just went through a big new like channel rebrand. He got a new intro, new graphics, new stinger transition. So I figured this would be a perfect time to recreate his. So I've created it in After Effects and I'm going to provide a template for you guys if you would like to download it and use it yourself. If you get this video to 15 likes. I used to do 10 likes as the goal, but it is now 15 likes because you guys always smash the 10 like goal. So if you get this video to 15 likes, get on down there and like it. I will release the template so you guys can download it and use it yourself. So make sure you're liking the video, but let's get right into how you use the template. All right, guys, so when you open up After Effects, the template is going to look like this. Everything is very simple. Cypher's transition is a very simple transition, so there's not much going on in this template, and it'll be really easy for you to jump in and change whatever you want to make it your own. So first, if we take a look at the transition, here is what it looks like. So it looks just like his. We can compare it right here. As you can see, it's pretty much a shot for shot remake. Now, like with Ninja Stinger Transition and all the other Stinger Transitions, I am creating the graphics and the uh, animation behind the Stinger Transition, and I'm steering away from including their branding. So for Ninja, I didn't include his knives that were crossing and all that stuff because that's his, that is his logo. It does not apply to you guys. Same goes for Cypher. His logo is that face, and that's why it's animated to look around during the transition, but most of you probably don't have just a face as your logo, so that's why I didn't add that animation. I want it to work for everybody right out of the template. So I didn't add that look around animation, but you'll see that when the mask pops in, it does bounce a little bit and you'll see our logo bounces as well. So if we play one more time, you see it comes in and bounces and that'll be applied to your logo without needing to do anything that's built right here into the template. So it'll bounce when it comes in. It looks really cool. Another thing that is a key part of Cypher's branding is the flame. His whole stream graphics package is built around that flame that you see going around in a circle. He's got different colored flames for different types of streams and whatnot, but that's kind of his thing. So once again, I'm not going to be including a flame like that because I don't want you to steal directly from Cypher. That's his thing. You can get your own thing. You guys can add to this transition if you want to do something similar to that, but I'm not going to do anything with a face or with the flame because that's his and not everybody has that. So I just want the transition to work out of the template for you guys. So it's just the basic animation that goes on behind his flame and face. But as you can see, it matches his transition exactly. So if you want something like Cypher's transition, here it is. So in order to make this transition your own, the first thing you want to do is change your colors. It is set to Cypher's colors right now. We got black, we got gray, and we've got a purple. And you'll see all down here, we got color one, color two, and color three. And if you click on one of them and go up to effects controls, you'll see we got this fill here. And this is where you can change them to whatever colors you want. So let's say you want white as your main background color. When you change it, it live updates here. And this second color here, let's say we want that to be like a light blue. And then the main accent color, the purple one, I'll say that'll be a nice, like bright yellow. So this is what our logo looks like, or our transition looks like now. So as you can see, you can make it whatever you want. Let me take it off of transparent so we can see it better. Yeah, so there's what it looks like with the colors changed. As you can see, it all live updates. You can change the colors to whatever you want. I'm gonna go back to Cypher's colors because I want it to look just like his transition. So there we go, we're back to Cypher's colors. So next to customize it, you wanna bring in your own logo instead of this fake temporary logo. So you can double click on your logo here or you can click on it up here where you see all of your comps. And you just wanna come in here and you'll see we've got the fake logo here. You can hide that or delete it, do whatever you want. And then you just wanna bring in your own logo. So you just import your own logo. I'm going to bring back in a fake logo here. And then you just want to scale it around until it matches kind of what the fake logo looks like. So don't have it clipping out like this. Just make sure it's all inside of this little box composition, kind of like that big right there. Then when you move back into final render, you'll see you've got your logo in here and it's going to bounce on its own. You see, we got that nice little bounce when it comes in. That'll apply to your logo 
automatically in this template. So once you've got your logo in there and the colors changed, that's it. You're ready to export. So you'll see we've got the in and out points set for you here. If they aren't, you just want to move them around so that they're at the beginning and then right after the transition ends, but they should be already set for you. And then it's time to export. So you just want to click on composition and go to add to render queue. So it'll take you to the render queue and it'll add it here. Then you just want to click where it says lossless in blue. Click on that and change it from AVI to QuickTime. You can do AVI if you want a super large, high quality file, but QuickTime makes it to where you can have that transparent background, but it's a little bit of a smaller file. So I always use QuickTime and then where it says channels, change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha means that it'll have a transparent background behind it. It won't be a black background so that you can have it over your stream and not have a black background. So QuickTime, RGB plus alpha alpha, then just hit OK. Then where it says final render here, you just want to click on that. And that's where you can name it, whatever you want, save it wherever you want on your computer. Then you just hit render and you are done. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy another template from me to you for free. All I'm asking for is 15 likes. So make sure you're getting down there and liking the video so that we can release this template and everybody in the world can have this transition and change it however you want to make it your own. But once again, that is the end of the video, guys. I'm so happy to be back making these styles of videos again. I want to make a bunch of different kinds of videos, uh, vlog style ones, unboxings, all kinds of stuff, but we're going to stick to doing some templates here and there again, because I just love releasing free stuff for you guys so that you can have awesome looking streams. But I hope you enjoyed the video once again, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.